Nikki has been around here a while, so what maybe made you know the 2019 version of Indiana and Maryland different than the 2017 version that you know couldn't quite close out a game like that? You know, we always believed you know a lot, and you know there was no doubt in my mind that we were going to win that game, and I felt that same energy from you know everyone else on the team, uh, and it showed out, and you know. We had opportunities to put it away, and we, we, you know, we need to grow from that and do that in the future. But at the end of the day, we still pull off the win. It's a huge win for us. How good of a catch was that for you at the end of the first half that you laid out, made it basically made some fingertips in your hand? Yeah, that was that was a fun one. I'll definitely remember that one for a while. Did you realize when the ball was? I mean, I guess kind of take you through. I mean, when you when you kind of realize you have to lay out and, and you're gonna have to die for it to make the catch. Yeah, I mean. Kind of how the game was going, I remember in pregame, the ball was either would just drop really fast, so it was kind of just playing it by ear, and then realized it was going a little bit farther than I thought it was, um, and just, you know, just laid out, because it was the end of the half, had to make a score, you know, get that momentum going into half, and, you know, was able to pull it away. You know, Peyton's been through a lot, kind of in this season in particular, losing his starting job, mm-hmm. just the fact that he's managed to kind of stay focused and come off the bench and lead you a few, what, what does that say about him as a player and as a person? Yeah, I mean, that's just him as a person. Uh, if you know Peyton, he's just LEO. He lives it out to the fullest, and he cares so much about this team and all the guys up here. Uh, and, you know, he stepped up when his name got called, and that's just the type of guy he is. Was there anything said on the sideline from coaches or amongst the offensive players when the QB change happened? Not really, just because we know we all have that next man up mentality. You know, it happens in O-line. It's happened, you know, with Coy and, you know, Matt Bedford stepping up. And, you know, when, when Hunter went down and, and Harry stepped up at center, <coughs> Uh, so we, we just have that mentality throughout the whole offense and just trust that whoever's going to you know, step up is going to be able to make the plays. Is there any adjustment at all that you as a receiver have to make, uh, you know, going from a right-handed quarterback, left-handed quarterback, you know, that, I mean, that kind of stuff? No, not really. I mean, it's still the same offense. The ball's still going to the same reads. Um, I don't really notice the spin or anything different like that. Do you, you notice this? I'm sorry, do you notice as WAP has emerged, Mm -hmm. you know, a little bit less coverage or in terms of opening things up for you and Donovan now that he's become such a... Yeah, I mean, you know, there's just, uh, you know, they started doubling him up a little bit last game or this against Maryland just because he's had such, you know, good games. Uh, And that's just how our our receiver core and our offense needs to be just because we're so balanced and anybody can make a play. Uh, They can't, not many people have, you know, three cover corners that can, can try to lock down three guys all the field. So... There's going to be somebody open almost every play.